from ClarkWoods.com. This is Horribly Off Topic, episode number 50 yeah. with Chris Sorry. and Steve. <laughs> I was so excited. I was, trying to, I was trying to think, and it's okay, uh, I was trying to think of how to, to toss to you for, for the first thing we were going to talk about, and, and I thought I can toss to you and uh, toss to you about cookies instead of just tossing. <laughs> what do you want me to start you? Because you want to know what happened. <laughs> I want to know what happened. Because <laughs> Just before we started, just before we hit record, Steve brought up cookies, and, and I, I cannot resist a story about a cookies. A story about cookies. Uh, at especially least. if you're tossing them. <laughs> especially tossing them. I mean, but knowing that the drinking game involves people drinking every time we say cookies, or cookies i just think, i don't know if these i think that's unofficial rules that's unofficial rules my kids do they don't listen are, to the show do they no they don't listen to the show but in, in terms of unofficial rules we were sitting around the living room table earlier this week and we were trying to play a card game and we magic trying, a gathering that's what we should have tried that, that based on how well uh, based on how well Go Fish went, we oh. definitely should have went for. Uh, went for. Are you that. out of your damn mind? <laughs> we were playing Go Fish, and I think it was Kaylee. Uh, yeah, I think it was Kaylee and I um, had a mini meltdown about the fact that Go Fish involves making books. You know, so you know a whole all the fours, not just two fours, but all the fours, and the way that she had played it. Uh, and the way that she had always played it with her friends and, and whatever and what have you was two. You just needed a match. You, yeah. you get a match away. That's how I always played. What are you guys like? Well, my my dad was the one that started it. OK, so Kaylee is being vindicated here. My, yeah. My yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to be on your daughter's side here. <laughs> so you can let her know uh, when on your way out. You say you were right. You were well, right. You get ma- you get matches. And then if you get all four, I mean, like, I guess that's more points. But like, yeah, well, my dad looked up the rules on the Internet, as did I. And we both found that the official rules state you're supposed to get a uh, get a book, get all four of them. So all four aces, all four, whatever. Then no one would ever give anybody anything. Do you have any? Did you have to give somebody if you have it? Is that yes. the, is that the rule? Yeah, you have to give somebody if you have it. Um, but if you don't get all four, then someone could take it back from you. Exactly. That's dumb. <laughs> so, 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 what you're saying is that we should listen to nine year olds? Yes, we should. You should we, get pairs so people could because so the game could actually end at some point. Got you. When you were nine, was your favorite cookie different than what your favorite cookie is now? No, I think it's still the same. I, like, I'm still a gingerbread cookie fan. I, I, I like the gingerbread at, at Christmas time or the holidays, but I don't know if I go for gingerbread most of the rest like of the Like, soft time. gingerbread is, is one of my favorite things mm. ever. Soft gingerbread is awesome. But so, I, I got one yeah. when I went uh, shopping at Market Basket. That's a local reference. Get so local I guess, for you. Drink. <laughs> So we're, uh, I was at Market Basket, and uh, I, I got one. And it, normally I get one that's that's frosted like a clown. Like a clown. And okay. it has like a sugar clown head. Okay. I think I've... Not frosted by a clown. No. It might have been. Yeah. Sorry. So, <laughs> what do you think about clowns, Chris? <laughs> well, clowns are fine, but when the clowns are frosting you, that's, mm, that's different. All right. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I got one of them and it was, uh, instead of being a clown, it was a, uh, it was cookie monster. It was frosted like cookie monster. Mm-hmm. So it was blue frosting. Yeah. And he also had a piece of a chocolate chip cookie in his would be mouth. <laughs> and so I ate that. And then like, I had a little bit of a tummy trouble that day. Oh, before or after? The before cookie? and after. Okay. So I ate, I, I had a couple of poos in the morning. Yeah. That were, uh, less than solid. Okay. And then uh, I've been there. maybe uh, two hours after I, because I, of course, I'm eating the cookie on the way back from the store. Right. Cause, so because I, I can't even wait to get home to eat my cookie. If, if, if it's one cookie. Yeah. You're, I mean, if one cookie is kind of like a candy bar, like you don't wait till you get home to eat the candy bar. You eat the candy bar in the car. Yeah. That's but it's kind of tricky to eat a gingerbread cookie with frosting on it while you're driving. I, you know, I don't know. I, 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 I have faith in you. I think you have enough skill to do. To I do did. I do it every <laughs> week. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I i ate that and then like a couple hours later i'm sitting in, in my apartment and i'm like oh Ooh. time for round three yeah. that one was the big one that was like <laughs> i think emptying out like everything the arsenal 
<laughs> you were you were diffusing the situation. You yes, were, it was nuclear disarmament in Steve's uh, colon. Yes, and so I, I I get up after some wiping, mm. and then I I take a look, and it's like like very. Well, it's it's sort of it's green. It's, it's very green. very green, and and yeah. then uh, and so like, but you you instantly when you see like you know off color shit, right? Off color shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was the alternate name for the podcast. <laughs> well, so yeah, when you see off color shit, you're like, oh, something is wrong, and then I'm like. I'm like, what did I eat? And I'm going back through my like day, or, yeah. like my day, couple days prior, and I'm like, oh my god, I know what's wrong with me. Right. And then I'm like, oh yeah, the cookie, <laughs> <laughs> the cookie that I just ate. Yeah, that was the the recent recent contribution to my uh, to my body. <laughs> cookie monster makes Steve panic. So you're gonna. Go I'm not gonna to... get the Cookie Monster one. So and I'm definitely not the getting clown. the Elmo one. No, I'll be like, that... oh my god. <laughs> would it turn? Would it be orange then? I don't know. I hope. I hope it wouldn't be bright red. I don't think it would be right bright red. I. I mean, <laughs> you got some energy. I got some energy. I've been at the beach all day. How was it? It was, it was. It was all right. It was, I stalked you. You were in Kittery. I we were in Kittery <laughs> at, um, at Fort Foster. I think is the the name of it. And uh, my wife, Stephanie, and, and her sister, they had been with the kids uh, a time before. Stephanie and I had been uh, on an, an anniversary trip. Our, of course, our anniversary is in April, so it was not beach weather uh, years ago. So this is the first time I went and went on the beach. Uh, it's a small beach, but when the tide goes out, it's, uh, it's pretty nice. You can walk pretty far out there. Uh, there's a playground, and then uh, theoretically there were there was an opportunity to ride bikes, but by the time... On the beach? Not on the beach. I mean, no. you could have on the beach, but there are paths and, and whatnot. But by the time it was uh, it was maybe bike riding time, everyone was burnt out and we were ready to come home. Uh, that's one of the bonuses of having younger kids. They, mm. like, at a certain point during the day, they're yeah. out of energy and they you're like... Are. And you're like, oh, well, I guess it's time to go. <laughs> and everybody's melting down. See, it, 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 much like, uh, no, I have no way to make that a joke. Uh, much like the, the nuclear armaments of... Uh, of Portsmouth, uh, New Hampshire. Uh, of uh, post-war Russia, post-Cold War Russia. With, uh, children mo- melt down at different uh, rates. No, 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 I'm sorry. I, I, when the, I try... What's the half-life on a child? <laughs> <laughs> see, see, this is why we're good together, because Steve takes something that I was struggling to make even moderately funny and makes me chuckle, at least. Yeah. And maybe one of you or two of you. <laughs> one listen. or two of you. Um, no, so we were, uh, aside from Melody, myst- my younger child, mysteriously breaking out into hives, it was a good day. Uh, and she broke out into hives after we'd spent some time in the water. Uh, it was high seaweed content. Uh, today, so maybe so she's no gotta, sushi for her when yeah, she's she, grown up. She might have a seaweed uh, thing, and but it was gone within like fifteen minutes. You know, she was she was back to normal. Did you get a Benadryl or no? She just just just. So it might not have even been allergies. It might have been uh, she was shivering like, like like mad. I thought maybe you know uh, just her her system was in shock, and I don't know. I don't know anything about hives, uh, but. I know about beehives. Beehives. You don't want to poke them with a stick or... Yeah, definitely not. Especially not if they're on top of a woman's head. What? Why would they be on... Oh. Beehive. Oh, I get it. They're the hairdo. Hairdo. Modge Simpson has a big beehive. Didn't... Wasn't your brother's right. car out in the back for a while? And didn't, I think didn't it have it like had, a hive of bees? It probably had multiple hives of bees. Like the, Anything that's... The old celebrity... Well, we we um we dusted off and and uh, brought the bikes with us, you know, in theory to to take the bikes, and now they're back under a tarp back there, and I'm I'm afraid that there's going to be a beehive that develops somewhere. Well, just get yourself like a fire extinguisher when you yeah. uh, go to take the go tarp to, off, and then yeah. there wasn't today when we first took them out. But not that we, the bikes would be on fire, but that there might be bees. Might be bees, yeah. And, and I think the fire extinguisher would if probably it's like get rid of them. One of the chemical ones it would just be, you know, yeah. it, you know. Of course, then the bikes would also be covered with. Yeah, whatever. then you take the hose to the bikes. Okay, got it. Yeah, and it would probably smell better than uh, than uh, Raid's wa- wasp and hornet spray, which smells like 
smells like the fart that you let go outside of my, well, I don't know. He let it go outside of the house. Yeah, I was, I was a gentleman. I farted before gentleman. I got here. <laughs> Fought like a gentleman. <laughs> um, no, it was, it was a good trip to the beach. I don't know why I can't extend my stories to make them amusing like your poo story. Like, I, I sit here and I'm, I marvel that, that the story about your poo was amusing and funny. And I was like, I was wrapped. I was, I was there. And my story about going, <laughs> my story about going to the beach is like, yeah, it was fun. Uh, Melody got hives, and uh, we came back. Yeah, well, end. today, I well, we we decided to go to do an indoor activity because it was going to mm, be so it was, hot. It out. was hot, yeah. And so we <clears throat> we went to Maynard, yeah, to get some lunch because uh, I hadn't been to the Halfway Cafe in a while because I mm. used to go to the one in Marlboro all the time. Yeah, maybe you guys should advertise with us because maybe. I'm talking about Halfway Cafe so much, mm. and I'm also drinking a Narragansett beer. <laughs> They they retweeted you when you uh, I know when you mentioned uh, you, you got to do it this time I because do I don't want to seem like that guy I'll be like hey my co-host was drinking a Gansett during the show during the perhaps show. you should ever no. <laughs> but I think I think you we got what we got to do is um, is st- uh, strategize uh, so I think you posted that just after we had finished recording I can post it just after I finish editing or just after I finish posting it. That seems like a better idea. And then maybe they retweet with the link. Yeah. Well, I I, I had the link to the show. Oh, you're show. going to the to the show. Okay. Yeah. We're talking um, shop too much. We are talking shop too much. Uh, oh, so yeah, I went to Halfway Cafe. <laughs> yes. Got a couple of brewskis. Got a little lunch. Were Were any of them named Teddy? Yes. Yeah. I got a Teddy brewski. Got a Teddy brewski. I oh, drank. How long that. until that's a thing? I drank from a man. <laughs> <laughs> Was your first time? It feels like the first time. <laughs> Feels like the very first time. Yeah. Um. What the, the, the? Are you asking why there isn't a a beer? I would like to know why named there's after not, Teddy. Why Brewski? there's not a T E D Y beer like like a Teddy Teddy Brewski? I mean, it makes sense. I mean, the Red Sox had like wines. Yeah. And they have like green monster ale. Oh, I was going to say, I thought I thought they had wines because of their fans who are upset about the way the season's going. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> I, I see the thing is like my grandfather never got to see the Red Sox win the World Series, yeah. and you've had two, I've got to see three, three, three of them. Okay, yeah, yeah oh four, oh seven, <laughs> and thirteen. Who's gonna hate? Everybody me now? forgets about thirteen because like yeah, it was sandwiched in between two lousy seasons and now an upcoming third one. <laughs> yeah, well, I I remember thirteen only because I ended up there after we were. We had just finished I Could Just Diary uh, in Portsmouth, the the first one, I think. And we went to, I was going to give a plug to a bar out there in Portsmouth. I think the, no, not the coat, uh, not the hammer. Uh, uh, the Dirty the Sanchez. One? Yes, the Dirty Sanchez. We were at the Dirty Sanchez. Um, had a couple the, of mags. <laughs> and um, a little doo-doo mustache. And there was a dude playing playing music while the while the game was on and he was getting all bent of sh- bent out of shape that nobody was paying attention to his set yeah, and it seriously, was the, it was the final game of the of the series it turned out to be the final game of the series which of the 13 uh, of of the of world, the world series. series yeah okay so if you're like uh, I, I I've been to many karaoke nights at yeah. uh, at JJ Boomers and Lowell. <laughs> Um, and when there was a playoff game, whether hockey, basketball, mm-hmm. football, etc., it wouldn't be football because it yeah. was normally on a Thursday. Uh, that was good. <laughs> that was good. I'm um, thinking, you know, no, for, for I was uh, we I was talking shop. I was saying I want a new sound for when we have to bleep someone's name. I think I'm gonna isolate <laughs> one of your belches and that'll be. <laughs> well, uh, about uh, 13 minutes in for this All right, one. Good. Uh, so yeah, like when, when there'd be a playoff game, whether hockey, basketball or, or baseball, they would postpone karaoke until the game was over. Right. Just because, you know, you can get people into a bar, um, during playoffs, right. like, and you don't need the, the gimmick of a karaoke or the gimmick of a trivia night. Yeah. Yeah. It's, and people want to watch the game because it's exciting and it's especially if it's a local team. They do. And and the thing is, is we we were the you know, the the theater geeks, like we can appreciate that you're ha- you're you're 
frustrated that your performance is not getting anything. We've we've been there. So we were kind of humoring the guy and, and kind of dividing our attention between our conversation, which was excellent that night, uh, between the um, the guy playing his guitar and uh, and the game. You know, so we were we were trying to help him out a little bit with his with his self esteem, but yeah, I don't know why they had. Well, first thing is I don't know why they had uh, us do uh, that event that night. I think it was one of those circumstances. What you're talking about, everyone forgets about thirteen. Nobody, I think, when they were planning, I could just diary volume one thought that it, the Red Sox would uh, be in the playoffs. <laughs> it would be in the playoffs, let alone the World Series, and that it would be the night uh, that our event happened. Um, which is why the second was, was I, it very lightly attended or was it pretty good? It was pretty good, but compared compared to the turnout we got for the second, I could just diary. It was, it was very, it was light. It was light. Um, and, but the thing is like, I yeah, remember so why anything happens on the night of a, I remember the first time I did some comedy was, uh, was the same year. Uh, and, um, I think people, I, I probably well not the first time the second time the first time like I got to do comedy that was not clean mm. and and in front of like a larger audience right uh, which was probably this was probably why it was people didn't want to come because it was uh, on the night of uh, Bruins playoff game right right um, I think that was the year we were playing against uh, the not Detroit uh, Chicago. Chicago, okay. and then Chicago. Like I remember, I think it was Game Six. Mm-hmm. It was a, this was I think this was Game One. Yeah, that, that uh, I was performing. That you were doing, uh, and game, I think it was Game Six. Was like I was I didn't I didn't have the the game on, but I was watching something else. But I had I had my computer up with the uh, the the live game tracker. Yeah. Or whatever, and I think there was a minute left in the game or something like that, and yeah. we were winning two to one. Or somebody can you know email correct me and correct yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. About the exact score, but and then I I'm like, oh, this game is pretty much won. I didn't say that. Oh no! But you oh, know, no. I was just I didn't. Steve, I literally what did you do? fuck you. No, <laughs> I I was like, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna take a leak, whatever. So I went to because I had to. Right. So I went to the bathroom. I get back. The score's like three to two, Chicago, and I'm like, huh? When did this happen? Wh- huh? How long was I in the bathroom? I was I wasn't in the bathroom for very long, and there wasn't that long left in the freaking game. <laughs> but somehow, <laughs> Chicago had scored two goals in less than a minute, or something yeah, like that. Yeah. And and it was it was like uh, how? So yeah, what but uh, th- that that night that I was doing comedy was uh, I think game one of that series, and I'm not sure if we won or not. But we I, we stuck around for the because I wasn't on like because there was supposed to be more than just me, mm. but then there was. Uh, uh, I, I had taken a comedy class, ah. and uh, it was Jerry Caruso. I'll uh, give him a plug out there. Check him <laughs> out. He uh, does some pretty cleanish comedy. Cleanish. He does a lot of benefits. So if you uh, if you're interested in checking out some of his funny stuff, was he the instructor? He yeah, was the, he was okay. the instructor. So he he he. Uh, he he basically was he he gave himself the headliner slot, and he gave me the yeah. the middler slot. Right. And this is the first time I was going up, and I, I had about maybe 10, 15 minutes, which was right. not bad. And uh, the stuff I have now, you know, that, I, that I've used more recently is a lot mm. better than the stuff I had then, but I still got some decent laughs that night. Um, but yeah, and, <laughs> and it was funny because, like, I had a bunch of friends there, obviously, because, yeah. you know, they're like, I'm like, come here and watch me do this. And then there was, like, a random dude. Mm. that was at the bar when I first got there because I, I didn't I wanted to get something to eat and maybe a, a, a beer before I right before got, went, on. went on just so I wasn't shake off the old willy nillies yeah willy nilly that's not <laughs> the right thing <laughs> at least you weren't shaking off your willy yeah I was with that other guy with that <laughs> Kidding? Uh, no, but and I was, you were saying that you had t- you had drunk from a man for the first time when you drank from Teddy. I'm sorry, Liar. Chris. I'm st- I didn't say... Oh, no, no, you said it felt like the first time. Yes. It feels like the first time. Uh... <laughs> like the very first time. Calm down, buddy. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I, I was like, hey, come come watch me do comedy. He was like, oh, okay, sounds great. So he came in, too. So I had a stranger in there mm. to be an objective audience member. Because, like, mm. you know, my... I mean, I think my friends were being honest, obviously. Right. And they said so. that, that they... They legitimately were laughing, and, and they were legitimately laughing. Yeah. 
uh, which was great, and I, I, it was a good time. Was had by all, but like the guy, like as the the guy that was the stranger, he was like that. That was really great. You did a nice. lot of good material, and it was really funny. So I'm like, that's great too. So it was like, I'm like these people that I trust, but might like sweeten up their response a little bit. They're predisposed to like you. Yeah. yeah. Well, not necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But the stranger has no obligation to do any of that because we will probably never see each other again. Right. And he also said the same thing. So it was yeah. good. Very good. I don't know. If for the first time, maybe in like 50 episodes, I'm not sure how he got off on that tangent. You were talking about going to do an indoor activity today. Oh, shit. <laughs> and I don't know how <laughs> we got there. <laughs> like, I am usually like, okay, I, I can trace how we got there. I don't remember how we got there, but you, you were doing Just an indoor chugga, activity. Chugga, chugga, chugga. What happened to your train of thought? Woo, woo. Woo, woo. <laughs> Isn't that what it does? It's yes, like, we were going woo, to do an indoor woo. activity. I don't know. Yeah. I really don't know how we got that horribly, <laughs> horribly off, off topic. topic. Drink. Um, we, we we went to the Acton Bolodrome. No, after, it's still there. Yes. Okay. This was a place that we used to go to as kids. Yes. I think we used to go w- with scouts. Yes, scouts was for our a... bowling match. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a bowling merit? Pass? I don't think so. <laughs> there would be in like up uh, with or like, like there the was wilderness a, explorers. There would be a bowling merit badge, a we, or maybe weeblos. Weeblo. <laughs> you need to get your bowling. I think you had pins and weeblos. <laughs> Weeblo bowling guys. Um, what? No. Uh, so, yes, we went to the Acton Bowlerdrome. Um, I feel like there was one in. Is there one in Bilbrica? No. What, a, a candle pin bowling? Uh, just a bowling place. No. There is a bowling place in Bilrica, but okay. I remember at least going with uh, with John, and, and I think it was with the scout troop, actually. Yeah. Uh, to the one in, in Acton. I know for sure the one in Acton. I'm thinking there was another one, too. But there is there is a candle pin bowling lanes in Lowell, but it's very small. Yeah. yeah. There, there's I think there's also one in, um, there's one in Somerville. Mm-hmm. Like, you know where the Somerville Theater is? We're really getting yes. local here. Yes, I do know. There's a uh, an old, very old... I know what you're I don't think they, they've updated it since, like, maybe the 60s or maybe the 70s. But that's it's attached to a pizza place, right? Or, like, a bar, right? Uh, I don't think it has a bar, actually. Okay. I think it's just an old place. There's a, there's a place near... Um, in Somerville, I, we, I wonder if we're thinking of the same place, that I went in once where we were, the idea uh, was me and uh, John uh, Martin and uh, and Andy Hicks um, uh, were, were getting back, to, we were getting the band back together, not really. Oh, uh, that's so good. Uh, and we were hoping to go and bowl and then uh, then eat, but the, the bowling was all booked up at this place for uh, the rest of the night, so we just uh, ate and drank. Uh, and I forget what the name, I, I want to say it was Flatbreads, which has a branch up in Portsmouth, but I could be totally wrong. Candlepin Bowling. But yeah, th- there's also, uh, there's also lanes and games. And so if you are like a person like me, that's a pinball mm. guy, uh, it's, it's right before Alewife Station. Yeah. In Cambridge, they have Candlepin. Oh, yes. They have Candlepin and they have 10 pin. I drive by that ev- every friggin' day I go into work. And I have never gone in there. It's great. Is they, it? They have like they have a little bar and restaurant upstairs. They have a lot of beers on draft. Yeah, I've always wanted to stop, and I never have. I think the ten pin is on the top floor, and then candle pins on the bottom. But the I'm probably wrong. Do you have a feeling <laughs> before uh, before we hear to act and mold wrong? Do you have a feeling on Dave and Buster's? Have we talked about Dave? And I've Buster's? only been to a Dave and Buster's once. Okay, and I, there's see, a new one in Woobin. We're just plugging everything. <laughs> If yes. you like entertainment, listen to our podcast, because we'll tell well, you where to go. Well, so when I worked at... The, the reason I asked you about Dave & Buster's is when I worked at the Apple Store, we had, uh, at least at the beginning of the time I worked at the Apple Store, we had a lot of off-sites for our meetings. And then towards the end, even though the company, I, I'm pretty sure, was doing way better than it was... It was doing well the entire time I was there, and it just kept doing better. By the time we I was finishing up there, all our meetings were in the store. But at the beginning, we did a lot of off-sites, and there was a rumor that there was going to be a Dave & Buster's up at the outlets in Merrimack, oh. which is where I lived until uh, this week. <laughs> or I, whatever. I, 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 we've been living here in Chelmsford, um, but it's where our house is until uh, our house is sold uh, sometime this week. And uh, so I was excited. I was like, oh, Dave & Buster's. 
even though I had no idea what the hell it was called. Well, there's one kept, in Woburn, so. Kept forgetting. And yeah, I saw the one in Woburn um, on the highway. Uh, I've seen it a couple times, and I thought, oh, I should go check that out. But but I wanted to get. Uh, we could do opinion. it. We could do it as a show activity. We, we could, could have an off site. We could have a show off site. <laughs> a show. We could uh, and then we could have an experience that we experience together. <laughs> we could. But also, we do need to have that show up at uh, Fun up at, Spot. Uh, at Fun Spot, yeah. Um, so you've been at Dave and Buster's just once. Is, I mean, do you think it's worth it? Um, it wasn't terrible when I went there, but um, I don't know. Maybe because I, I went a I went a long time ago. Yeah, and so down south or no, 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 it was up here. But okay, I I have more disposable income at this point in my life. Okay, than I did, you know, at that point. So it's a little bit pricier. So yeah, yeah. well, yeah, it was. But the thing is, like. They have, I, they they have a lot of ticket redemption games, which are okay. fun, I guess. Yeah, but that's what. But like when I go to some place like Fun Spot, yeah, I'll I'll I get my big tub o tokens, right, and then I will you know play all the games that I want to play. Yeah, and then once I get tired of playing games, I'll go over to the ticket redemption games. Right. And then use the rest of my tokens to get tickets so I can get another pint glass that I don't need. <laughs> but it's not the... It, the ticket redemption games are not the primary reason that you're there. No. And yet it, they have become the primary reason at nearly every other arcade that I've been to aside from Fun Spot. So like Fun World in Nashua, I went with, uh, with Kaylee a few weeks ago and... All the new stuff that they, aside from the odd, like the Wizard of Oz uh, pinball game, uh, is relatively new, I think, um, at least within the last couple of years. Everything new that they've installed is like a ticket redemption thing. And yeah. that's what Kaylee and I, you know, she likes the tickets, and like, like any kid wants to win the prizes. So that's what we spend. Even though the doing. prizes are garbage. Yes. In, for the most part. The, yes. Which is why I always get a pint glass. Right. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I I am more apt to enjoy a place like uh, Fun Spot where I can go up and I can play games from my childhood than I am to... And and one time, I ha- we haven't done a ton of bowling at, uh, at Fun Spot, but there was one trip I went on. They, they, have, they have both Candlepin and Tenpin there. We are just... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we need to just get... A hold of everybody at all of these places. Yes. And say, could you give us a little money? Yeah. We, we, we talk about you. The thing is, I've never bowled at Fun Spot. I've been there so many. I've been there well, since I was a kid. Like, I I didn't really, except for this one time, we, we made it a thing that we did. <laughs> <laughs> we did both types of bowling. Um, we did miniature golf upstairs at Fun Spot. Wow. And, and we did the, the outdoor ones. Uh, no, we didn't do the outdoor ones. We, but we did both types of bowling. Uh, we did the miniature golf, and we did you know a steady, uh, steady stream of arcade games. It was it was pretty good. Wow, you got your you got your uh, entertainment's worth, we right? Did I don't know if we stopped at the bar that day. Uh, that might have been the one thing that we missed out on. Well, D A Long Tavern's a great place to go when you're at Fun Spot. When in, you're at Fun Spot in Weir's Beach or Laconia, <laughs> New Hampshire. What did you do at the bowl drum? Did you uh, bowl? We we did bowl. <laughs> okay, we bowled three games. Uh, the two first games. Guess what I bowled? A come on, you can do it. Three hundred? No. <laughs> can, can Candle pin? Has that know. ever been done? I don't know. Has ever anybody ever gotten ten strikes in a row, or however many you need to I, get in I a don't row? Know. <laughs> I don't know. To get three hundred? Can you get three hundred? I don't bike? think so. <laughs> I think it's po- it's it's possible. It's not probable. Okay. So what did, what did you bowl? Come on. Uh, 180. Are you kidding me? 90. When was the last time you candle pin bowled? <laughs> I don't know what the scoring is like. You All got right. uh, 20. It was more than 20. <laughs> right, I'm just going to say 69. I, I bowled the 69 <laughs> for my first did. two games. 69, dude. Yeah. Well, the thing is, like, uh, do you understand how bowling scoring works? I do. I just am terrible at math. No, it's not just, like, you're terrible at arithmetic, apparently. I am terrible at arithmetic. So, you get, when you, because there's ten pins. Right. Like, in candle pin and in ten pin. Yes. Uh, ten pins, you, you have, but in candle pin, you have three balls to knock them all down. Okay, that's As right. opposed to, in ten pin, you only have two. Right. So, if you knock them all down the first time, that's a strike. Right. And then you get, like, I think, 
like the, the whatever you roll on your next roll mm-hmm. uh, gets added on to that strike, and I think it's a little bit more. Okay, I think. And, right. and then there's the spare, which is when you in Candlepin when you knock them down with the first two balls, right? And then if you knock them all down with all three balls, you just get ten. You points. just get ten. Okay. I, I I that's the part that I've never understood about it is if you get the if you get the strike or the spare, how the extra points get added in, and when you get to th- roll extra balls, and when you don't. Uh, well, the only a, you only get to roll extra balls is if if you. Yeah, I guess that's ten. If you get a, you, a you strike or a spare on your last frame. Yeah. Or is it frame? I don't know. On the last, the yeah, la- the, frame. the tenth frame. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, in the tenth frame, then you can roll an extra bar bar <laughs> bar. <laughs> Ball. You can that roll Gantt, an extra. That Gantt is really working. I for need you. another one. Can <laughs> well, we pause I, it? Yeah, uh, I think I can. Hold on. Well, that's better. That is better. Um, so, or maybe that'll be the sound. That that'll be the sound when. No, I like uh, the burp. Idea. You like the burp as the every time we say something we're not supposed to say. Okay, <laughs> I'll have to find it and find a way to to save it. Um. So yeah, so we don't know how bowling is scored. I think that's where we're I going. think I had I have a general idea again people can... I think you know how bowling is scored. I uh, pay, Well, maybe that. somebody can actually send us we haven't gotten an email in a while. We haven't gotten an email in a while. Brian, I don't you've been know if anybody is still out there. <laughs> Brian is still listening. Brian is still out there. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I'd At like least some we have one person. I would like some proof. I'm just saying. We Well, like uh, I'm sure maybe Leo will send us one as well, but he'll probably like try to jab Brian in the jab, ribs. Jab with Brian in the Be like, yeah, I work outdoors like a man. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, dare I ask, did, uh, did Becky do better than, than you? Okay, so the first game was, was actually pretty close. Yeah. I won the first game. Uh-huh. Uh, the second game... Yeah. Was sixty nine to seventy? She beat Ooh, me by one. She beat you by one. One pin. She still beat you. One is still is still better. Yes, she she won. She, she won beat the second you game. Fair and square. So that's we had awesome. the the rubber game, which I guess is the third one, right? I think that's the. I think that is. The, we did three just so we could have a, a match. Mm-hmm. And uh, I won that one. I got okay. eighty four that time. Got so it. I actually started getting into a rhythm, and I actually I was rolling it pretty much. Yeah. Down the center almost every time that time. Yeah. So it's good, actually... it's good to get into a rhythm when you're once you're in the rubber. I mean the rubber game that is. Yeah. Once um, you're in the rubber. Once you're in the rubber. Um. Because then you might explode. Oh. In the rubber. Um. I'm trying to remember. Uh. Everyone is better at games than me. Um. What? So, so, no. <laughs> so Stephanie could definitely beat me bowling. I'm sure. I'm trying to remember. I I'm trying to remember if my my mom and my dad I think used to bowl a lot. And I think I know my dad used to be in a league, and I used to go along and like you know get quarters off of him so I could play the Ninja Turtles arcade game. Yeah. As opposed to to sit around. Oh, cause, well, you wouldn't have been bowling because he was the one that was in the league. Yeah. The and league like in, in league night is basically no. the the night where er, all the lanes are taken up. Yeah, yeah. It is, uh, there's no way to get in, right? Um, well, you can get in, but you got to wait for a long time for a, for long a damn time. lane. Yeah. Hmm. It's league play. League play. I still... Are you quoting all Lebo- s- Lebowski? I don't know what you're well, doing Well, okay, there. so what, what I was trying... I have been meaning to rewatch Lebowski for about two months. I like, think it's I've, still I've on... Had- the- I know. I own it. I own oh, it, never too. Mind. <laughs> like, I don't even need to go to streaming. I have it on service. the Blu-ray. Um, I have a digital copy, but... You know, uh, it's, you know, uh, I, I, I have no reason to have not, except that I have been watching other stuff trying. Well, that's um, good. I mean, I mean, I think that movie is probably the movie I've seen most in my life. Yeah. Uh, well, good... uh, I might have to go back to Back to the Future and or Ghostbusters. Yeah, but... those ones. Because I watched on... those a lot as a kid and then. Big Lebowski didn't come out until 1998. Until right. I, I was out of high school at that yeah. point. And now at this point, you can uh, you can still like we watched the first two Back to the Futures as part of a marathon some night last week. Like on a TV? Uh, yeah, yeah. A- again, like doing uh, the whole. <laughs> did you the, have those? We had yes, and and you and I had this conversation <laughs> just last night. Actually, 
uh, Thor was on FX and there was nothing else on. And I, for a second, I was like, I think I'm going to watch Thor. And, and I didn't. And I thought back to the conversation you and I had on the show within the last couple of weeks <laughs> about why are, well, in this case, your dad was the one that you, you brought up. I was why? yelling, he was watching <laughs> running man. And I'm like, why aren't you what you, I have this. <laughs> and, and I was sitting there, I was thinking, although I, I don't think anybody, except a real nerd would think of it this way. Like maybe the reason we do that is to watch it and re-experience it in kind of a different way. Like even if we already have it, the idea is like, I want to watch Thor and, and see what it's like to have the movie paused every 10 minutes for commercials about Viagra and, uh, and Cialis. I like the Cialis one because that's the, the guy, they have the guys, or they have the, the guy the, and the lady in the bathtub. in the bathtubs. Yeah. Do they still have that one? I don't know. I don't know. They have that, the, that's a classic. They had, they had the one during Super Bowl. Wasn't it the lady that was, you know, moderately attractive, older woman, mm. being like, it's okay if you can't get a boner. We're going to take this pill or something. Yeah. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Don't worry, buddy. It's all right, sweet fella. It's <laughs> it's okay. I still you love can, you. I, I, I don't mind. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 we'll just wait for the pill. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I, I, what the I, hell have you been watching then? Like, I mean, that uh, usually, that's usually what the podcast turns into. Hey, what's, what, what have we been, what watching been watching lately? Well, I, so one thing I wrote down it, and we'll get to it, I, but I'm trying to remember what the hell the other thing was. Um, oh, I started watching, um, turn the, uh, AMC series. That's about the spies, uh, Washington spies during the revolution. Um, it's a revolutionary war. Talk you, uh, Docu series, docu series. Yeah, I don't know. it's it, it's it's decent. It's pretty good. Um, and I was cleaning out some other stuff from my Netflix queue, and and at the top of it was the Sheik because you had told me I really like that document. Watch the Sheik, and I forget. I it was a day that I had the girls home with me. They you were, were watching it with the girls. No, no. So oh. they were they were doing either things on their iPads or or whatever it was. My Little Pony um, stuff, sir. Maybe I wasn't feeling well, so I li- I, I, I lie down on the couch and I had my headphones on and I was watching the Sheik on my iPhone. Oh, and then on your all phone? Us, um, I know, but like I I take my opportunity. Don't you have an iPad? I do have an iPad. It's slow as fuck. And I need to replace it uh, soon. But the phone is what I had on me. I was in the mood to watch something. I was feeling sick to my stomach. I was like, I'm going to sit and I'm going to watch something. I'm going to sit and watch the chic movie and then barf. <laughs> um, and at some point, they decided, I think my dad prompted them, uh, let, let, let's go out into the pool. There's a tiny little kiddie pool that my, my parents had uh, blown up in the backyard. And so I took uh, the phone with me and the... Wi-Fi signal was barely good enough for me to keep watching the movie. Oh, nice. Um, but I did. I, I watched the whole movie. And uh, and you made sure your children didn't drown. That's I, great. I did make sure they didn't drown. Um, didn't was, or did? Didn't. Oh, good. Didn't. Um, although, there, were, you know, the, the, the pool was, had been sitting since the 4th of July, and I think this was the... 6th or 7th maybe and it had gotten you know some of the pine sap or whatever had made the bottom of it a little slippery you know it was they they got past it they had a good time um i was a little unsure so there was a brief pause where i wasn't watching the chic so i kind of watched it in two parts once i was sure the girls weren't gonna die but you watched it in its entirety i want yes so that means you liked it enough to not stop watching yeah no i you know it might have even been three parts because my mom came home yeah, my mom came home and I paused it to talk with her and then we got the girls inside and I said, can you watch them for a second so I can... Finish know, up I, this movie about, about this the movie. Iron Sheik. Yeah. It's really important. Um, and it was because I was really invested in the in in the story um, and I, I was glad that you told me to watch it because I, I was a huge wrestling fan there in the, uh, in the 80s. And I, mean, I mean, I think the Sheik is a little bit before our era. He's a little our bit era. before our era. Yeah. Because like Hulk Hogan was like, uh, like that's when we... We're in it. Yeah. But there's a lot of people in it <laughs> that are um, that are from our era. And and I even watched a little bit. I did. I kind of skipped out most of the 90s. And then I came back in the late 90s, early aughts. When it was the um, Attitude Era? I kind of I skipped most of the Attitude Era. But I, oh, okay. I liked The Rock. Like the tail end of that Attitude uh, Era, I guess. I don't know. Wrestling You just like somebody that can like do that uh, eyebrow thing. I liked the eyebrow. I liked, you know, I could smell what The Rock was cooking. 
Oh, what was it? If you know what I mean. Uh, I think it was uh, hot dogs and broccoli. Or jambalaya. Jambalaya. Um, the It was really interesting because The Rock is one of the primary... One of the primary interview people in the Sheik, I think. Yeah, because he was he was young. He was he was young. He was, young. Uh, he was dad, a young kid. His yeah. dad was around at the time of the Sheik. Yes, and yeah. and so he he interacted with with the Iron Sheik. He even gives credit to um, you know he was the one uh, that popularized at least in in the minds of a lot of people. What the what the word jabroni? Jabroni. Yeah, the the Rock was the one that that like a lot of people heard that from, but but he gives. <laughs> full credit to the Sheik, and he's, you know, I, I, I've always kind of liked Dwayne Johnson, that's The Rock, uh, his his off-screen personality, he seemed like a decent dude, but there, there really... was Did we talk about the story about him, like he's he was shooting a movie up here? Uh, I don't know. And then he, he was just driving down the street, and he accidentally, like, hit somebody's... Uh, rear view mirror mm. when he was driving down the road. Yeah, I don't know if you said And so uh and he stopped and like the the guy came out, he was writing a note saying, oh, you know, I'll pay for this yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Here's the info. I got to get going or whatever. The guy came out and they had a conversation, they right. took some selfies or whatever yeah. like people do. And the guy was like, "Don't worry about it. I'll get it fixed." And yeah. and so it was like two guys that were doing the right thing right. and not being dicks and yeah. not being like, you know, trying to squeeze money out of some other person. Yeah. And I'm sure the Rock will probably like send him something cool yeah, or I'm like sure. send him a check be like, "Yeah, you might have taken care of this, but guess what? I'm But just, yeah, like I'm still going to send you some money. <laughs> thank you for not trying to um to uh what's the, not embezzle, not fraud. Extort. Uh, extort. Yes, thank you. It was an E word. Um yeah, try not not to extort me because you realize that I'm some rich dude and that a rich dude banged your mirror instead of, you know, poor schlub. Yeah. Um yeah, no, the rock comes across great in the in the Sheik movie. Um the Sheik comes across great for the most part but there is the sort of um middle to end section where i well there's a part where he's like totally like getting drugs yeah and and, and there's a i don't know how the hell they got that in the movie like yeah uh, i mean you know it's it's a rehabilitation thing i yeah. guess i you know it, it did make me think a little bit well of, i mean there's ambiguity of whether or not he's getting drugs or not but yeah and and where and where he, and what kind of drugs and and, and what he's getting and blah blah blah, and blah, blah. Where i think that's it, probably yeah. why they were able to use it Right. And not have it be an incriminating thing. Yeah, because I mean, the one time where I think there's actually a deal going down, it's it's a very dark screen, and you can hear the mic uh, on the sheik, and yeah. you can kind of hear the other person in the background, but you can't see any identifying character. But he, I mean, he, but he for a lot of it was like you know saying how much he likes cocaine and blah, yeah. Blah, blah. yeah. What was it? Who was he with? That it was like Dusty Roads or whatever. Um. Or, what when he when, when they he, got when they got pulled over in Hacksaw Jersey? Jim Duggan was it Hacksaw Jim Duggan Hacksaw Jim Duggan ho oh! ho oh! um, yeah they were, they were the two by four um, I I ended up trying to explain why I liked the movie later that night to my dad and I was it was it, uh, that was the anecdote I was like yeah like he it, this was during the era where you know everyone was still they thought it might be fake but they uh, they weren't sure and and. Duggan and the Sheik were having a feud, and they got pulled over together, and everyone was like, "What?" Yeah. Um, but there, but uh, there the was... narrative of the whole piece is is really interesting. But but the end, I do feel like he is kind of redeemed off screen, like that they they had all the bits of that you need for sort of a fallen idol kind of coming back biopic. But well, yeah, and then they skipped, they go into his Twitter. It basically. skipped really quickly. Yeah, through, from like wife moves out on him, everything is at its bleakest. To he's off drugs and he's on Twitter. Yeah, and I feel like that part. You know, not that uh, there's a great uh, quote by Steve Almond or Almond. I don't know how the hell to say. Is he one of the Almond brothers? <laughs> uh, he's he's like Almond Joy. He's got nuts. Oh, that kind of almond. Um, like the almond stuff. milk I use in my cereal. Yes. Uh, so Steve Almond. Uh, he has a very thin book on writing that I love to quote to my students. And one of his best bits of advice is to slow down where it hurts. And I, the only gripe I have with the Sheik movie, the only gripe is that I feel like there's a lot of, a lot of stuff that could have been played, could have been played out in that time where he was really 
down on his where he was really on the drugs and the wife was gone and the kids like everyone had sort of left him that doesn't quite fit with the tone of the movie but i think you could have thrown a little bit more of that in there and and had it just been like go from like a four and a half star to like a five star movie i don't know oh geez I, I, that's me nitpicking there, uh, I think this was around the time that they were filming, or maybe a little bit after. Mm. Uh, they were on uh, Opie and Anthony's show. Yeah. Um, or, well, The Sheik was. Mm-hmm. And he, uh, I guess he likes his Heinekens, uh. and he was drinking them before the show. And now, right. <laughs> full disclosure, we're recording this on a Sunday afternoon. Yes. Where it's acceptable for me to just sit back <laughs> and have two beers right. during the show. Yes. Um. The Sheik had probably a dozen... Dozen Heinekens. At, I mean, Owen's show started at the time, I think it's 6 (laughs) a.m. He's the Sheik. (laughs) Man, he's got a gut. Like, the the gut on him is... is, um, But, you know, and here's the thing. I was at the beach today, and... You know, there's a. Difference. You saw him there? No, I did not see the sheik, but no. I did see a guy with a with a huge gut. But like his arm, like you would not get want to get into like an arm wrestling match with with this this big fat dude that I saw, or or just like into any kind of strength. Contest. I don't understand like how that happens. Like if you have that much muscle on your arms, why why? Like, how much are you eating the, to, to maintain your gut? Well, I feel like that's one of the... Well, I would say that is one of the things that I'm most interested in. Like, I don't think I've ever seen it covered. Eh, I mean, maybe it kind of gets alluded to in, like, restaurant scenes or whatever with these athletes and whatnot. But, like, athletes of all sorts, you know, to, to build the muscle that they've got to build when they're, when they're active, yeah. eat a shit ton of food. Yes. Right? But then they stop being athletes. They stop being active, and they still and eat they that same shit amount of food. That yeah. amount of food. Yeah, so that's how it happens. I, I, that, and I would love to see a sort of um, exploration of that a little bit more, and and see what how the hell do you? I mean, I have a gut. Don't get me wrong, but it's I not a like gut. I mean, you know, yeah, it's it's not this, it's not that size. Yeah, because you've never you've never tried to bulk up in the way that these guys do. Like I wear, I don't worry a lot. I'm not like sitting here crying tears for them, but the, <laughs> the, the guys who, um, and gals who, you know, bulk up for these, uh, superhero flicks, right. Um, uh, Chris Pratt was a heavier dude before he, um, he got in shape and bulked up. Right. But I could see it, you know, based on pictures I've seen of Chris Pratt before he became star Lord and the guy from Jurassic world, like, that's a guy who, if he's not careful and he doesn't pay, keep paying his personal trainer and, and, and nutrition person, yeah. that he could end up really fat again because he keeps eating the way that he's eating and then uh, then stops working out. Uh, uh, that was like, I have a lot of burps today. <laughs> I have been really... That get, was like, an interesting one. Like This that whole weekend, I, am, I have been Mr. Gas. Yeah. I don't, I don't know how Beggy puts up with it, but like... I, I don't either. <laughs> Like, like some of the some of the ones this weekend were bad. Were bad. Yeah. Uh, belches or farts? Farts. Like farts, bel- yeah. belches are you know, especially if you eat something fun. Like yeah. You, like like we we went to the <laughs> farmers market too this weekend, and we got like some fresh strawberries. So yeah. like burping up strawberries isn't bad. Isn't bad because you're like oh strawberries. Strawberries <laughs> smells okay. But yeah, if it's like you know a beer or yeah. oh oh I just ate that hamburger. Oh, yeah, that's when it gets. That's bad. back. <laughs> yeah, I forget what it was that I had had earlier in the day during uh, the day before I went to my cousin's wedding a few weeks back, but I had terrible breath uh, by the time we were heading to the wedding, so much so that my brother decided that was what he was going to comment on the entire time. Your brother's very good at commenting on (laughs) On, if you have bad breath or not. Yeah. yeah. And so he usually carries gum, so if... I know. Just initially, if he says, do you want some gum, just take it, because then you won't have to deal with him saying your breath is terrible. That's a thing, you know, and I think... I don't know if this is a, uh, an issue of people mixing John and I up or if I carried gum a lot when I was younger, too. But, you know, there are people, uh, my friend John uh, among them, who are like, you're a Clark and you don't have gum? Like, what's going on? Like, that it was such a thing that John and I would have a pack of gum on us at any time. Did, what, did you find that to be true? Like, when well, high school? I, I, you... I, not, not necessarily, but I, they're, they're, like we're, I'm on the same page with you with, like, mm-hmm. John saying, oh, your breath stinks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so that happens. <laughs> Thank you. Um, 
So what happened this weekend besides uh, besides uh, the beach? Besides well, stuff that we did. Besides stuff that we did. Um, well, I, yes, uh, I did one other thing, but we don't have to talk about. That. We can talk. Oh, I want to actually want to hear about. This. Okay, so the one other thing that I did, and and we've been doing all these <laughs> Fuck things. Pop culture. <laughs> Let's talk about Fuck you. Pop culture. Ah! the pop pop culture. That the, did me <laughs> kicking the mic stand. That I don't think that made a difference. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> the. I went to a kind of a mini high school reunion. Where'd you go? Yesterday. So my friend Brendan, and I won't say his last name, uh, but uh, my friend Brendan. My friend Beep. He was he was beeping. <laughs> my, my, then... my friend. Bleh. Oh, no, that's like a vomit noise. Yeah. Uh, the belch. Uh, my friend Brendan, whose name I'm not going to beep because I, I don't need to beep it. Um, we've, we've not beeped people's first names, or we have beeped people's first names before. We have. I don't think Brendan's going to mind. I think it was funny when we used to do it, but now we don't give a shit anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> unless, beep, unless I'm like, dude, beep that. Beep that, yeah. And then you're like, damn it, I have to find the sound again. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, Brendan, ha- last year... Um, tried to get a uh, all the Chumsford people he uh, he and he knew on Facebook. He Did invited, I know him? Um, probably not. He was my he was my grade, um, and I don't. Were you on Facebook last year? You were. I was last left. year. Okay. I, 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 at this point last year, yes, I was still okay. on Facebook. So around this time last year, maybe a little bit earlier. He tried to get a get together of all the people he knew from Chumsford. He invited everybody, and the only person that sh- showed up was uh, our friend Rob. Uh, Rob, R- R- Rob K. What? He was the only person. I that can't get up. him to hang out at all, and he's he, going to these he, fucking things. No, 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 listen. Here's the reason he showed up he lives in the same town. It was in, so it was in it was in, in in the greater Worcester area. It was in the greater Worcester area. So Rob showed up to this thing. Rob and Brendan didn't even know each other that well. It's just that they lived in the same town, and I guess they had a great grand old time. Uh, but he was the only one who showed up. So Brendan tried again this year. Uh, invited just the people that. If he, Rob showed up, I'm going to smack him. He did not. <laughs> the next time I see him, no. Um, he invited just the people that he went to uh, that were in our graduating class. Um, that he was friends with on Facebook because this is the year that would be our 20 year reunion. I, I Are don't. You, is it going to happen? I don't know. Because uh, usually I, it happens around Thanksgiving. Usually it does, which I think is a terrible time to have it. Uh, not no, for no, no. Me, it's not. But, well, it, it, the the rationale of having it near Thanksgiving is the fact that people are usually home right. for the holiday. Yeah. And but a lot what, of people like will come home for Thanksgiving right. and they'll say the heck with coming home for Christmas because that's the biggest headache ever. Possibly. Yeah, but 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 keep in mind that but, but, is, but 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 this is 20 years now. So it's 20 years a lot of people don't, you know, their their parents might not live in Chelmsford anymore either. Um, anyway, so, so well, if Brent, they do, then it'll be easier yeah, for people. So to yeah, get to. I get the rationale. I just think like I'm always in Maine at my uh, uh, at my mother in law's house on uh, Thanksgiving uh, weekend. Yeah. So. <laughs> what? So Brennan invited a bunch of people, and uh, three of us showed up. Um, with wow, he almost <laughs> we tripled tripled <laughs> it from last year. Tripled it from last year. There was Good supposed to be a fourth. Um, and uh, if I had that, known, I would have come. That person. Well, it was just. Did last you promote the show? People. I did. I talk about the show. <sighs> I feel like I talked about the show with Brendan. I'm Please. To well, I definitely talked about the show with Brendan. I don't know if I talked about it with the other people because I kept getting pulled aside by my kids. That was the way that. Oh, he your tried. kids were there. So he invited everybody and their and their spouses and their kids. Oh. And so my kids are very especially at the beginning of any new social experience are very shy. And so Melody was pulling me away from the conversation. Any chance she got, uh, wait, then, wait, wait, hold on one sec. <coughs> that was a good, very one. nice. Um, so yeah, she was, uh, she was pulling me away at any chance that she got. Um, and so I didn't get a lot of chance to talk to people. Stephanie, in fact, got to know some of my former classmates, more than I did. Oh. She got to know that better. Fun. Um, but uh, we did have conversation about Voltron, which was uh, a bonding. Th- me and one of the women that was there. Do you I, find all the pieces of Voltron? We did not. Oh. Uh, for those of you who, I don't think, did we talk about it on the show? I don't think we did. So uh, a couple weekends ago when my brother was home, we were digging through uh, boxes and boxes of old crap that my parents had stored up in the, in the attic. And uh, among those were, were some toys. And we thought we might find all the pieces of Voltron, all five lions. But we found, I think, one and a half or two. 
Yeah, that's yeah. not enough to not, construct Walt's run. Not enough. So I think did you we toss found, it. I think we found the black. No, I don't think we did. I think we found the black lion and the yellow one. The yellow one being one of the legs. The black one being the torso. All okay. right. So well, maybe you can just put a an APB out there for, uh, for hey yeah. everybody out there. If you have the uh, other leg and the two arms and the head of Voltron, then would please love to take care, take them off your hands. <laughs> you, um, Chris would love to take care of you. Apparently. I would love to take care of you. Like <laughs> if you know Teddy what I mean, took care of Steve. Um, well, at least I mean, in a situation. <laughs> oh no! Wait, I am the top, Teddy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am the top in the situation. You are the top in the situation. There should be a Steve beer, a Steve brewski. Maybe you, maybe Gansett will maybe Gansett will be like Steve's brew. Steve's brew. Would it be a lager? No, I mean, is that the only thing that Gansett makes? Is well, a they, lager? no, they have like a shandy, a shandy, which is a uh, with Dell's uh, Steve shandy w- lemonade. Yeah, yeah. If you had a beer, would it be? Would it? What would it be? I have no idea. Okay, it would definitely not be an IPA. I am not. sick to hell of IPAs. Yeah, I can't. I can't do like uh, the. There's a there's this beer that you can get in mm. um it's 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 a Vermont beer yeah and like you have to like be like a crazy beer person to like get it mm-hmm. it's called Heady Topper okay and it's like crazy hoppy beer mm-hmm. and like I I drank it I I had it once because a, a friend of a friend gave yeah. me a can of it and it gave me a headache. Oh really? It was so hoppy. It made me like. I was like, I don't know. This made yeah. this made me feel sick and weird. Yeah. Like so, it was too hoppy for me, and I'm like, ah. Uh. So yeah. I, after that, I started tapering down yeah. on the amount of times I will drink an IPA. Mm-hmm. For those of you not in the beer world, uh, an IPA means India Pale Ale, and right. it has a lot of hops in it usually. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I I'm not Jim Cook. I'm not sitting there smelling hops. I, you know, my friend, uh, Beth, the bassist who was in the, uh, the band with, uh, with me way back in the day, she made me a mixed six pack once when she was working at, uh, a liquor store somewhere in Massachusetts. I forget where. And was it bunghole liquors? <laughs> it was not bunghole liquors. Um, and you know, she, she, she was like, what kinds of stuff do you like? And I didn't know what to, what to say. And so, so like, you oh, said, I love IPAs. Yeah. No, she gave me like a real good variety of stuff. And I think I want to say, considering your favorite drink is, uh, is Midori. I don't know. Yeah, but I think it's, I think it's, I'm, I think I'm getting sick of Midori. Not, not, not in a way that I'll never have another one, but the last Midori I had was so sickeningly sweet that because I, it is sickening, sickeningly sweet. Here's the thing: so my parents have sweet and sour mix in the house. You're not supposed to make a Midori sour with sweet and sour mix. It's just supposed, supposed to, be, to be sour, just sour. So oh. you're supposed to do it with like a whiskey sour mix, which does not have any sweet in it, as far as I know. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're you're doubling up on the sweet, doubling up on the sweet when I'm having a Midori sour here at the house, which. But anyway, I think actually the beers that I've liked have, uh, I can't come up with it. I was trying in, in trying to ramble to come up with the, the ones that I've liked, but I don't think an IPA or something. I think, I think you might like a a Shandy. I think you would like, uh, some Mm. sort of like fruity beer. Yeah. And I'm not saying that as in like, (laughs) (laughs) I'm saying that is, has some hints of fruit. Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> oh, if the world could see the gestures. Um, <laughs> the the uh, as a matter of fact, I think a lot of the beers that I have liked have not necessarily been fruity, but they've been um, lighter colored, if not lighter tasting. Um, so I don't know. So maybe just a light beer. Maybe you know, maybe I don't know. I'll, I have to I have to write it down because that's the trouble when I go out to people to a bar. I, I, the reason I order the Midori sour is because it's the only thing I can fucking remember. It's green. I like it when somebody comes around. Like I I like whiskey sours. I like I like certain beers. I I like a hard cider. We, you know, we've we've done uh, we've done whiskey shots many times in your kitchen. Yeah, I mean, there's all sorts of stuff that I like. It's just that. I have a hard time remembering any of it, and I, and I what well, I really want to remember—that's the trick with alcohol, huh? <laughs> what I really want to remember is just like what is a beer, what is a go-to beer I could have because it's also you do have an iPhone, so the next time you're uh, yeah. you're drinking, just like just just jot pull up the notepad and, and be like, I did not like the heady topper. Got it. 
Got it, got it. And I'm like, I don't know if people out there, the beer snobs out there are going to be like, drink it again sometime. Maybe just don't drink it from the can. Put it in a glass or something, you dick. Um... You you mentioned before that that some other stuff was happening this weekend. I don't know if we we we're, we don't we, have time. We don't have time. We we could talk about it, but we don't have time. Fuck them. Fuck them. Star Wars, Batman, Superman. Who is that stuff? Okay, I'm gonna just uh, stop for just for, just a quick just thing. briefly. This, the, I'm just, I'll talk about the Star Wars because Batman, Superman. I, I I saw the new trailer. It was better than the last one. It was better. Than the it last made one. me actually interested in maybe seeing the movie. Yeah. Okay. All all that needs to be said. Um, do, do you agree? I, I, I agree. I, uh, I'm very intrigued. The only thing that I'll say that intrigued me more, um, was not, uh, not said is explicitly in the trailer is that they made the decision to make, uh, Gotham and, um, Metropolis be sister cities, kind of like a San Francisco, Oakland kind of thing. Oh. And they, that interests me. That's never been done in the comics as far as I know. And that's kind of a really neat idea because otherwise, why is Batman jetting, halfway across the country to wherever the fuck Metropolis is from Gotham when he's got his own shit going on. Yeah. Like, if they really are side by side, then that makes a lot more sense for why they're uh, cross-pollinating. All right. That's it. So, Star but the Wars. Star Wars is, uh, the they they showed a bunch of stuff. Yes. It was more behind the scenes. It mm-hmm. wasn't a trailer. Right. Uh, but uh, I like the mm. fact that they're using practical effects. Yes. That was something that I, I that in, that, that may, I, I'm still not on the hype train, right. or whatever the hell it is people yeah. say. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm still because prequels the, the the prequels burned me pretty bad. Yeah. I had third degree burns, and I was in the I was in the ward, and I had yeah. like like cold towels on me. Is that mm-hmm. what they do for burn I, victims? I think so. Yeah, um, <laughs> especially when you've been in ward. I mean, oh, in the ward, not in ward. Okay. Burt ward. <laughs> Bring it back. Um, yeah. So you've been burned. Yes, so I'm still, I'm still like, I'm cautiously optimistic. Yeah, uh, I like that they're using practical effects. I like, I mean, it's not going to be like the green screen, boring political dialogue of I the prequels. Hope not. Um, there was a lot of nonsense. Like it, people were like, "Oh, the third one was still good." What the the thirty minute fight scene between <laughs> with, yeah. between Anakin and, and Obi Wan? No, yeah, no. And they're, I'm they're sorry a- on the lava planet that they both seem to. Yeah, never mind. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we will. We we we've had our debate about the prequels, uh, and I mostly agree with you. Um, yeah, you've been burned. Everyone's been burned. It's it, you have, and and there are people I know who have also feel like they've been burned by J.J. Abrams. They're not fans of uh, like Star Trek Into Darkness. They're not fans. I, I of, watched that. I I, 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 I thought it was movie. good. I think I think that's a good movie. I think um, it goes suck a fart. Yeah. Um. So the, you know they're like, well, we've been burned by the prequels. We've been burned by Abrams. But even these people are kind of they're getting cautiously optimistic because everything like, that comes out about this. Even a behind the scenes, like three minute behind the scenes, seems very encouraging. Yeah, because it's real. I, I think that's you know seeing that the that little droid that's uh, the the head on top of the ball, even though it kind of looks silly, and it's that, still that's that it's real. a real thing. It's not a it's not a computer generated yeah, thing. that they built. It's not it's not a, a Jamaican racial stereotype. <laughs> Yes. I think people are excited about that. I think so. I think the fact that it's a real Millennium Falcon that they built, I think. Yeah. Misa, Misa, love you long time. Yeah, oh. well, well, why don't we just stop the show without <laughs> doing do plugs? All right, well, I, 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 it was a perfect place to... <laughs> Do you want to stick that at the end? Or something? No, no. I will. I. I think it, this is the first time that that you were. There have been multiple times where you were trying to give me a hint to stop it, and I didn't stop it. That time I did, and then I forgot that we hadn't done plugs. All right, here's plugs. Plug me up the Twitter at ECC nineteen seventy seven. I am at Tuesday is loser Tuesday I S. Loser. Please send us emails to hot at clarkwoods.com. And you can find the show notes for this episode at clarkwoods.com slash hot slash five zero. Wow, we have made it almost an entire year. Almost an entire year. Pretty soon. Pretty soon. We're gonna have to bring out the the lost episode. Yes. With, with all the uh with all the, the goodies that, that were in the, the lost episode. Right. Right. All right. Eat a bag of shit.